Hi there, I'm Susan for SusanWinter.net. Sex with your ex. Yep, it happens. If this has just happened to you, please don't beat yourself up. Listen to what I have to say. What's really important, because it's, it's fairly natural and fairly common for this to happen, all we want to deduce is what is positive versus what is negative. All right? So, to, to be honest, very few relationships that have been real coupled up, I don't mean a couple of dates, a random hookup, I mean an established couple. In very few cases do you actually have that the two separate and never speak. That is rare. More common is the uncoiling or uncoupling. And so you have to remember this has been your partner. This was your person. So it is going to feel natural and comfortable if after the first couple days or a week of separation you hear a song or you're out with friends and you've been drinking and suddenly you think of them, you miss them. That's going to be normal. There will be the impulse to contact them. And then, of course, the end result is you're going to end up in bed, probably, because this is your comfort zone. So it is a bit of a weaning process, and that's okay. That would be natural. And you'll know the natural evolution of uncoiling from your partnership because the few times that you do this, and it would only be a few, you would have less and less positive feelings and more negative feelings, meaning there's less excitement in the sex. And it's kind of, it becomes simply a reconfirmation of like, yeah, it's, it's really not gonna work. They're great, but um, it, it's so even the sex is less enjoyable. That is the normal uncoiling. Where it becomes dangerous is if you're there for the wrong reasons. If you are living in hope, that desperation of wanting to hook up, like thinking that's gonna snag them. So if you are sleeping with a man, chances are there are very few men that are going to turn down the offer of sex. Okay, it's just kind of a rare thing. Funny that way, they seem to like it. And you can misconstrue what that means because I have seen many a person get back with their male partner and think that oh, it's starting to feel like a relationship because they're not getting booted out. They can probably stay over the night or maybe even leave later the next morning or maybe even go out to brunch or breakfast. So it's feeling like they're back in, but they're not. And you have to be honest with yourself and know when it's over and know when you're hurting yourself. Know when the time is right that you need to leave. Know when you're not able to move forward and know when your past is actually holding you captive. This is what we don't want. You know, have real dialogue with your ex. Understand that there is some sense of familiarity. And yeah, it's better than a one night stand. And it may be even more tempting the more you date. For real, the more you date and you start to see what's out there, you can start to think, wow. I mean, I had my complaints, but, but I'm starting to really get scared. And so you run back to your ex, but it's temporary. And it is time to move on because relationships have a life cycle and we know when they're pretty much over. So you have to be honest with yourself. Um, do not feel guilty. Do not feel badly if this has happened to you. And also if it's reversed, if you're the one who is enjoying an occasional sexual interlude with your ex, you know, be fair. If you know in your heart of hearts you're really done and it's convenient for you, but you sense or feel or absolutely know that they're really hung up on you, be kind, please. Don't be greedy. Please let them go. If you cannot give them what they want and need, don't encourage them to keep coming back. That's the kindest thing you could do. If you ever love them once, prove it now by being in right order. So I hope that helps you all. Please uh, tune in to The Susan Winter Show on iTunes. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And write to me. Let me know what do you want to hear about. I am here bringing these topics to you. Tell me what your issue is, and I'll see if I can make it into a video. I strive to do so with everything that I read. So thank you so much.